Prime Minister David Cameron and Foreign Minister William Hague. My name is Pema Yoko and I'm a Tibetan born and raised in London. I know that you're both fully aware of the current crisis inside Tibet, but I think it's also important to know that since 2008, the situation inside Tibet has, has gotten worse. It is like hell on earth for Tibetans inside Tibet. Just today, a young Tibetan set himself on fire. He was 18 years old. On Sunday, a Tibetan nun set herself on fire. She was just 17 years old. And a few days before that, two 15-year-old boys set themselves ablaze together. And all of them were calling for basic, basic human rights and freedom inside Tibet and for the return of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Now, I remember watching an interview in 2008 during the Beijing Olympics um, with both of you discussing your meeting with His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Now, in that interview, you were both very clear in your message that it is always important to be clear and consistent on the issue of Tibet, regardless of the Olympics happening. And I am just wondering where this consistency is now for Tibet today, because there are no Olympics right now, and there are no media inside Tibet. But 87 Tibetans have set themselves on fire, calling for basic human rights inside Tibet. David Cameron and William Hague, I urge you to condemn China on their brutalities and atrocities towards Tibetans who only, whose only desire is to be Tibetan in their own homeland. You have the power, and if you use this power and break this silence, you'll not only be saving millions of Tibetan lives, but you'll be saving a way of life, a culture, and a tradition. By condemning China today, you can join concerned world governments and leaders across the world and initiate a multilateral forum to resolve the Tibet crisis. The Tibetans inside Tibet need your leadership, need your intervention. So David Cameron and William Hague, I urge you to stand with Tibetans today and save Tibetan lives.